What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and today guys what we're going to be talking about is the Team of the Week cards that were released today. There were 10 Team of the Week cards, same as always, released this week. And uh, as you guys can see them on the screen here, if you're interested in seeing a review on each one of these cards, or if only you want to view one specific one, you can actually click on that card and it will take you to that point on the video. Just wanted to give you that guys that option. But I will be going through each of these cards, giving you my quick opinion and giving you a rundown of the important attributes for each of these cards. So let's get things started right away with wide receiver Golden Tate who is 86 overall. He's a gold card. Golden Tate had a monster game this week uh, with Calvin Johnson being hurt and uh, the Lions really needing to move the ball through the air still. It was Golden Tate who really made things happen for them. And he gets rewarded with the first team of the week card this week. 93 speed, 93 agility, 94 acceleration. All about average attributes, but this card does struggle in some of the areas that I was kind of surprised in. Uh, number one, release and strength. Now, I know he's not known as being like a big physical receiver, but both of those attributes are very, very low. And then the other thing, his 85 catch in traffic is pretty low for a wide receiver. I mean, it's not god awful, but it's not good by any means. <laughs> um, then the only thing that he is actually really good at is spectacular catch, which kind of surprised me uh, because I can't really remember any time that Golden Tate made a particularly spectacular catch. So I was surprised to see that being a little higher than just his standard catch attribute. But, you know, I guess it is what it is on that. The other thing, too, his 81 route running. I was kind of surprised on that. I, I mean, he's kind of known as being a pretty solid route runner. So 81, I don't know, uh, seems a little bit low for me. And then, of course, 34 run blocking. Yikes. That is about as bad as it gets at wide receiver. Um, I guess I can't really remember any specific time that he made a great block or anything, but like 34 though? Like that's barely better than quarterbacks in this game. So very, very low on that attribute, but um, an okay card overall. I'm surprised that it's 86 overall though. I, I think it's a little bit over overrated there at 86 overall, but uh, it is what it is. Let's move on to the second one, which is Brian Hoyer, quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, who drove them down for uh, from, what were they down, 28 to 3? Sorry, Ryan. Uh, Titans just blew that game, and Brian Hoyer definitely exploited their defense. But he gets a decent card here. Uh, not really anything that great, I guess. Uh, 68 speed and 75 acceleration are both bad for a quarterback. His 60 carrying is bad as well. Uh, so he's definitely not a mobile quarterback. But he does have decent throw power. Uh, his throw accuracy is pretty decent. He's got 92 throw accuracy short, 90, or, uh, 86 throw accuracy medium, and 87 throw accuracy deep, along with an 84 throw on the run. So he's about an average solid quarterback like uh, nothing really spectacular here decent enough one thing that i was a little bit surprised by was that he does have a 92 play action which is one of the higher attributes in the game so uh pretty decent throw uh throw power here like i said at 91 and if you can hit him deep with that play action that might be a decent option for this card so next card on the list we have is stephen ridley halfback for the new england patriots he checks in with an 84 overall card now i'm not really sure who would want to use this card? I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's not horrible, but I'm sure it's going to be going for a ton of coins. And then you look at like the fact that it's got 89 speed, 84 agility. I mean, that's pretty darn slow for a running back. His, eight, his 93 acceleration is okay. Not great though. Now what this card is good at is being a physical running back, which is what Steven Ridley is good for in the real NFL. So I'm glad they got it right on this card, but uh, that 96 stiff arm, pretty solid, not uh, not a bad attribute at all. 91 spin move is decent, which I was a little bit surprised by because I can't really remember him doing anything great with a spin move. But the 97 trucking, now the reason that that has a star next to it is because that attribute is the highest in the game. There's not another running back with higher trucking at this point in time in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So very, very nice as far as that goes. He's a physical runner. He will pick up those yards running up the middle, and that's really what he's used for. Next on the list, we do have Eddie Lacy, who, as you can see here, does also have the 97 trucking. And uh, that, like I said, that has a star next to it because it is the best in the game along with that Steven Ridley in the previous card. Now, Eddie Lacy also 
is a physical running back. And again, I'm really surprised at these attributes. He he has 94 carrying though, at least. Uh, the Stephen Ridley, I, I forgot to mention that on the last one, but that Stephen Ridley has awful carrying. I think it was like 75 or something like that. So Eddie Lacy, definitely the better of the two if you're looking for a physical running back, but I'm sure that you're going to pay for it. Eddie Lacy is not going to go cheap. Uh, the other thing, like I said, 96 spin moves. So that is the highest in the game as well. Uh, he's known as a guy who is pretty shifty and he does have an amazing spin move in real life so uh, nice to see that translate into his mutt item as well 89 speed just again not great uh, it's just not what you're looking for if you want him to be an every down back in this game in my opinion but you know that's not exactly what people are looking for with this card because what most people are going to be doing is taking this Eddie Lacy putting it into the collection or the set and turning it into this Demarius Thomas card here excellent excellent card as you can see here not a red attribute to be found this card is absolutely amazing 92 overall 95 speed 95 acceleration 94 release 76 strength very very big physical as you can imagine with Demarius Thomas he is six foot three about 230 pounds as well so he is a big physical receiver he can go up and catch it with that jump uh, the jump at 93 is pretty close to being a green attribute as well but it did fall into the yellow technically speaking um, awareness we don't really worry about that so much with our wide receivers uh, agility again nah, don't really mind too much about that really what I'm looking for is that catching catch in traffic spec catch and that's where he makes his money man this guy is great in all of those attributes along with that speed and excel he is gonna be an absolute beast on your team and then he also has 76 run block which again with that star next to it means he is the best wide receiver in this game at run blocking at this current moment so very very nice overall this is again my opinion this is the best wide receiver in this game currently Demarius Thomas absolutely beastly I'm sure he's just going to go for an absurd amount of coins but you know uh, when you're trying to build the best of the best this is the card that you've got to have so definitely love this Demarius Thomas now we move over to the defensive side of the ball, and we're going to start off by taking a look at Bjorn Werner, who is a right outside linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts. And, uh, you know, with the outside linebackers, we really tend to look at them as either being pass rushers or coverage guys or, you know, run stoppers. Typically, you're not going to have the best combination of all three of them unless for some reason you've got like a Patrick Willis or something. But then he doesn't really have that great of pass rushing attributes, pure pass rushing. So, you know, you kind of take what you can get out of these guys and you have to use them in your defense the right way otherwise they're useless but this Bjorn Werner card is definitely more of a pass rusher he does have 93 power move uh, decent speed at 82 not spectacular I would love to see that be a little bit higher if I'm going to use him as a primary pass rusher but uh, still decent at 82 like I said with the 84 strength and the 93 power move he's going to be able to get to the quarterback and then he does also have 88 block shed which makes him a little bit better than a lot of uh outside linebackers in run support now where he does struggle of course is in coverage he does only have 58 man coverage and 68 zone coverage with a 58 catching so uh, he's not really a guy that you want to drop into coverage if you can avoid it but like I said if he's going to be a primary run support guy or a pass rusher for you this is actually a pretty solid uh, overall item I think that this is definitely one that you're going to see on people's team uh, even outside of doing the collection so Next one, we have uh, another outside linebacker, Danny Lansana. And like I said, a lot of guys, you really have to look at their attributes and decide, you know, what type of player they are. This one, I don't know. It looks to me like he's pretty much a beast uh, across the board. I mean, you look at these attributes, 85 speed, 85 strength. He has a decent finesse move at 86. Um, I, I mean, that's actually pretty good. A, a 78 power move is even decent. 87 acceleration is a little bit low, but, you know, still manageable. Where he, where he, I think he actually is going to be surprising to a lot of people, though, is that he has 83 zone coverage, 70 catching, and he's even got 67 man coverage, which, you know, 67 doesn't sound that good, but it's still a lot better than most of the outside linebackers in this game. And then he's also good in run support as well. 91 tackle, 88 hit power. So overall, this is a very, very nice outside linebacker. Uh, he's not like spectacular at anything, but he's very, very good at just about everything, which is something that like I said unless you've got like a Patrick Willis or something like that it's very very hard to come across a linebacker that's got this type of attributes across the board 
So definitely really like this one. Uh, just like the previous item, I think that this one is going to be on a lot of teams even outside of the set. And you're going to see a lot of people using this, I think, down the road here. Next item on the list, we have Free Safety Michael Griffin and Michael Griffin. Eh, decent card here, 91 speed. I wish was a little bit higher. You know, you guys know me with speed. I think it's just the most, it's it's really the most important attribute for most of the positions. Now you're gonna find people that say, you know, stuff like uh, play recognition and that kind of stuff, or you know, tackling, hit power, and those kind of things are so important, especially when you're not using the players. But to me, speed is one of the most important things that you can have, particularly on defense and with safeties, because. This game has a tendency to allow deep passes a lot more than Madden 25 did. So I like to have my safeties who can get deep and make sure that they're not getting toasted by the fast receivers, especially guys like Demarius Thomas now who are going to be on the field for people. Uh, that card is going to be able to beat Michael Griffin deep a lot. So that's something that I would love to see be a little bit higher. If it was even just like 92, 93, I think he would be a, a better card. But he does have 93 acceleration to make up for it, so that's not too bad. 82 awareness and 82 play rec are also decent. Um, it, he does also have pretty good coverage attributes at 77 for man, which is good for a safety, and 86 for zone is solid as well. Now, where he's not very good is that he only has 74 pursuit and 64 tackling, so he's not as good in run support as a lot of other safeties. But still, overall, a pretty decent item for Michael Griffin. Uh, I know Ryan's happy that the Titans have another uh, Team of the Week card, but this might be the last one for a while, Ryan. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Your team's looking brutal, but at least Michael Griffin gets a decent item here this week. Next on our list, we have Buffalo Bills defensive tackle Mar Marcel Darius, who is checking in with an 88 overall elite card. This is a beastly item overall, guys. 74 speed for a defensive tackle is very, very quick. He also has that 94 strength, 94 power move. He is an absolute monster. You guys remember in Madden 25, I used Marcel Darius. I think it was like the final edition uh, Marcel Darius for almost the entire time that since that card came out almost until the very end of month I was using that Marcel Darius because it was so good and this card reminds me a lot of that one because it has a lot of the same attributes very very quick very very strong with great power move and great block shed and that's what I look for in a defensive tackle so I like this card a lot the only thing where it kind of struggles for me is that it only has 82 acceleration now that's not horrible but if it had like an 85 or an 86 acceleration to go along with that 74 speed he would be like a pass rushing beast at the defensive tackle position so like i said i really do like this marcel darius overall definitely a card that i would be looking for i, I think its price is probably going to be quite inflated uh in the beginning here when the when the collection or the set is first coming out but you know overall though like i said if you can eventually get this card for a little bit cheaper this is definitely going to be one that you want to see on your team Next item and the final item of today's video is a cornerback, Brandon Flowers for the San Diego Chargers. This is a pretty nice cornerback card, but it does struggle in the one area that I think is most important. Like I said before, speed, 90 speed. Imagine trying to put this Brandon Flowers head to head against that Demarius Thomas on the other side here, the offensive uh, top player that you get from the set. Yeah, he's going to get abused because Demarius Thomas has got way quicker acceleration, way quicker speed. He's much stronger. I mean, obviously, you can't just, you know, match them up directly because, you know, Demarius had a better game than Brandon Flowers did. But I, even still, guys, like, I, I just, I don't know about this, uh, this item overall. 90 speed for a card that's 92 overall. I mean, this thing is going to be going for a ridiculous price. And for, for the cost of it, I just, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to justify it, just given the speed alone. And then you look at things like block shed, 47, that is atrocious. Like, I know block shedding is only used for run support, really, but even still, I need my card to be able to do something in run support. He can't just be a complete detriment, and that's what I feel like he's going to be, because he just doesn't have any strength, doesn't have any block shed. Um, at least he does have decent pursuit and uh, I mean, okay tackling at 66 and, uh, it, but the other thing is though, is that he does have the attributes that you really look for in a cornerback outside of the speed. He does have the 94 man coverage, the 96 zone coverage, and even the 90 press, which are all exceptional attributes for the position. Also 81 hit power 
one of the highest numbers for a cornerback, which kind of caught me off guard because I don't really remember Brandon Flowers being a particularly hard hitter. But hey, you know, you take what you can get on these cards. And I think that, you know, of course, considering the fact that he's only got 90 speed, it's nice to see that he can at least make up for it in some other ways. Like I said, with that hit power and the coverage attributes, he's going to make up for it. He's going to make up for the fact that he's only got 90 speed. But if you do put him in just single coverage against a guy like Demarius Thomas, he's probably going to struggle. So overall, guys, like I said, pretty good weekend of football. And we did get some nice team of the week cards because of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button below. If you like this type of video, make sure you leave it in the comment section as well, because these videos do take a little bit longer than just going through and uh, looking at the cards on the game. I like to put together these graphics because it really gives you an idea of what attributes these cards are actually good at and which ones they struggle and to give you kind of an idea of whether whether or not they're worth your price that you're looking at them for on the auction block. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said, make sure you press that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, also be sure to press the subscribe button because that's how you will know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.